Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day and you're staying dry as it continues to rain in our area. Well, with that rain, it's made my garden and probably a lot of your gardens very wet and the fields wet. But I am thankful though for one thing. It has been extremely easy just to pull the weeds out of my garden. Um, really not any issues. I can get them by the root and toss them away. Um, and I've been thankful for that because when the soil is dry, it is so hard to pull the weeds and um, get them exactly by the root. Half the time um, I struggle, I'll get the top part of the weed, but the roots are still there, which means I have a problem because the weeds just, it's gonna come right back. Um, but then, so as I'm pulling weeds, I'm thinking about my soul. And when my soul is well watered, it's easier to ink the weeds out of my life. So let me elaborate. Um, the weeds in my life. Okay, so if my soul is well watered and I become impatient with my kiddos down in the barn for one reason or another, that may or may not have happened this morning, I am more quicker to realize, okay, I just got impatient with my child. This is not worth it right now. This is not what they need. This is not what the situation needs. And I can diffuse that impatience and replace it with patience and gentle and kindness. Or if I'm driving down the road and I'm upset with another driver on the road because they cut me off, I can diffuse that anger a whole lot quicker if I have been soaking in God's presence. The weeds in my mind are easier to pluck out. Let's face it, we have negative thoughts. But when I have those negative thoughts and I have been spending time with God or talking to him and praying to him, it is so much easier so much easier to get rid of those negative thoughts when my soul has been soaking in God. But when my soul's dry, the impatience sticks around a lot longer. The anger stays around a lot longer. Those negative thoughts, they stay around a lot longer. And if not anything, they end up growing. So I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to do what Psalm 4610 tells us, be still and know that I am God. Maybe it means taking 10 minutes and just sitting down with God today and just talking to him. Maybe it means picking up this awesome book and just seeing what God wants you to read. Maybe it means listening to your favorite worship song and just listening to the lyrics and let God sing them over you. Whatever it is, I encourage you to make sure that your soul is soaked up with God's goodness. I think we all can get dry from time to time. But God's always calling us back and making, wanting us to soak in him and who he is. So I pray that God waters your souls today. I pray that you feel his presence and that whatever's going on in your life, that God can help you pluck out those weeds easily. Man, we could do anything with God. He's awesome. So I hope you're encouraged, um, and I pray you all have a great day. I hope to see you Sunday, and if we don't, have a great weekend. Talk to you later, friends. Bye.